Hey guys and welcome to the video. So, bit of a different one today. I thought I would give you a quick tour of my kitchen. So what does the kitchen of a weight loss coach look like? And little hint, it's, it's not perfect. It's just practical and convenient for me. And I just want to give you some, yeah, maybe some ideas or some tips or just, yeah, some interesting insights into how I live. So I think for this, I will have to take my camera off the tripod and we'll, we'll walk over, oh, we'll do a little quick whiz round. So this is my kitchen and it's not huge. And in the background there, you can see where I film sometimes my YouTube videos. And so let's start in this direction. So here is my like tabletop counter and on here, we'll start with some cool stuff. So just bought this, this is a tabletop um, hob. And I'm gonna be using this for my cooking videos. So I can basically stand here and have my camera there while like, facing me and doing cooking stuff here, rather than what I have done in the past on my actual hobs where I can't actually see myself. You see me in the, uh, the backing plate there. Um, so it's a lot more difficult cooking here like this, being able to see me and I'll be able to put the camera over there. So that's awesome. And so I have here my blenders. So this is my, my small, like both my blenders are really, really powerful. So they're really, really cool for sort of blending ice and things like that. This is my smaller one just for like smoothies. And I actually got this free with my bigger blender. And this is my optimum blender. So it's similar to something like a Vitamix or a Blendtec. And what it is, is like a super powerful blender that enables you to like make food basically. So I can make soup in there in a few minutes. And also the opposite, I can make ice cream and stuff with frozen uh, frozen fruit and stuff. And it is really, really cool, really, really versatile. Really expensive, but if you get use out of them, they are super awesome. Um, and I said about practicality, so in my cupboards, I have like all my spices, got one there and one there. So I can just be kind of like running around my kitchen and grabbing stuff very easily. And at the same time as well, things like sort of lids for pans. So I can just quickly open the, the door to put a lid on a pan very, very quick and easy rather than kind of having them stored away and being difficult to do stuff with. Um, little things like sort of protein powder there, I'll have some of that in my breakfast. So yeah, what else? Um, you can see my tripod there, which my camera was on. Got some food, some bananas, potatoes, apples, things like that. These are some parsnips I bought from the supermarket yesterday. 37 pence, reduced, huge amount. Not sure what I'm gonna do with those. Cook them in the oven probably. So that is um, that corner of the kitchen. And then I have my oven and microwave. Very useful, of course. I'm just going back here. I got some oven gloves. My sister got me those for Christmas. They are like super thick. Um, cool oven gloves stop, of course, burning my hands. <laughs> I tend to do that quite often. And in this corner, I have my fridge. So let's see what's in the fridge. So in my fridge, I have a load of stuff. Of course, it's a fridge, right? So uh, let's just go through a quick few things in here. Um, in the door, I have things like spices and you know, like ginger garlic. Um, this is awesome. This is my Nordic oil. This are uh, like omega-3 oil. Very, very good supplement there. Um, lemon juice, got some milk essentials, got a cider <laughs> and just some yeah, sauces and things like that. Again, lemon, lime juice there, some sweet and sour sauce, just little things like that. In the top, I have some beetroot juice, um, some mayonnaise for salads and a diet Pepsi. <laughs> and some tomatoes as well. And I don't really have a stocked fridge at the moment. What do I have? I have yogurt. Skier yogurt is my favorite. It's very, very low in fat, but also just, yeah, really good protein source. I have some celery, uh, some spaghetti bolognese, which I made the other day. Just a container just for my dinner. And I have some pizza breads. That's uh, a pre-cooked chicken, eggs, mushrooms, and I have a salad, which I made the other day as well, just locked in a fresh lock container. Um, that probably go with my lunch. I'm not sure what I'm having for lunch yet. 
Come on. And we'll also have some courgettes, <laughs> cucumber, and pepper, um, spinach, and some carrots. So yeah, not really much in the fridge at the moment in terms of um, stuff, but it's enough, right? Um, I can do a lot with that. Uh, in my freezer, I just have some yeah, frozen items, uh, some blueberries, some butter, which I don't use very often, uh, and some fo frozen vegetables and some ice. So that's my fridge, very simple. And so moving back over this side of the kitchen, let's just move it a bit closer. I have my really cool big drawer here, which just has cutlery and just little things like these, which are egg, um, um, fried egg shapes, <laughs> put them in the pan and you can um, get that shape of egg. Um, my, my pizza dough scraper, that's really cool. Um, some poached eggs, egg pouches, throw them in the water and it keeps the egg poached without sort of breaking up in the water. Uh, I like these as well actually, these are can lids, so when you open the can and the metal lid you take off, you want to keep it fresh, put those on there. Those are really useful for things like beans or whatever you might have in a can, tomatoes, if you're only going to use half of it, coconut milk, things like that and not really much else in here, um, just lots of bits, bits and bobs, um, nothing interesting at all. And just coming back over here, I think the favorite part of my kitchen is this. I love my gas hobs, just really, really nice to cook on. But unfortunately, like I said before, I'm gonna have to use this because it's so much easier to put the camera over there. Um, oh, my best, my favorite knife, this is a ceramic knife. It stays sharp for practically ever, you never need to sharpen it. And the only bad thing about them is they're, they're a bit brittle, you can't hit things with them, but they're super sharp. Um, yeah, and there's not much really else to it. Just um, try to be practical with storage. I have in here, I have lots of like storage boxes for if I make a meal and I want to kind of store it in the freezer or something, lots of those. And just, um, yeah, like, groceries and things in there and trying to think what would be interesting just in terms of practicality having things close by so like if I'm cooking here I have all my um, what are these called silicon um, utensils so these are really really easy to clean and they don't burn and yeah um, that is practically about it there's nothing interesting I have a bin as well <laughs> in there again practicality very easy to throw things away and also, I got this from going to Brazil, a, um, a little bin which is practical for when you are cooking and you want to throw things like next to you, very easy. And I'm trying to think, nothing else much to, to show you, that's about it. Uh, I can't invent things that aren't here, can I? Uh, on my ceiling up here, I have placed a little attachment for my GoPro so I can actually film down onto this. So that's how I get my shots from above. And yeah, I think for now, that is my kitchen. And again, just a little zoom around, you see the whole thing. There we go. So just to tag on to the end of the video, I mentioned I didn't know what I was gonna cook for my lunch, but I am now doing my lunch. So what have I cooked? So if you remember, I had the pre-cooked chicken. It was only a little bit, so I cut that up. And I've mixed it with some eggs, some gar garlic, garlic, crushed garlic, some mushrooms, and I've got the salad I mentioned as well to have with it. I might have a carbohydrate sauce, so like rice or um, some bread with it if I can get it. Um, and I also got some chopped up celery, which was in my fridge. So a nice sort of combination of um, lots of nutrients and protein there. And um, so that's going to be my lunch.